What's up, everyone? Welcome back to One Techie Dude. My name is Kyle, where your ed tech happiness starts. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Google Classroom and showing our teachers how they find, set up, and add students to their classroom. So let's get this started. As they did in the first video, we talked about Google Classroom and it being a powerful platform for uh, for you to deliver your classes digitally. So the first thing that we're going to actually look at is how you get uh, logged in to your Google account and find your Google Classroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that you're logged into your Google account. I know that I'm essentially in my Google account because of my little avatar here that is dancing. So once I'm logged in, um, I'm going to click on these nine dots here and I am going to scroll down until I see my Google Classroom. Now yours may not be all the way up here at the top. Some of yours may be all the way down here at the bottom. So uh, regardless of where yours is, just scroll in this little box and, and find out exactly where it is. So what you want to do is you want to click on that. And I can actually see the classes that I am already uh, the teacher of and a student of, okay? And so um, this is what your account should look like. Now, if you haven't had any classes uh, that you've been a student of or you haven't created any, then yours is probably gonna be blank. But essentially, it will the screen that you'll go to once you click on those nine dots will essentially look like this. So. What we're going to do is talk about creating your own class um, as a teacher. So what we're going to do is go up here on uh, the top right side next to our nine dots is a little plus sign. So this is where you can go and create your classes or join. So today uh, we're going to do these as a teacher. So we're going to create. Um, join would be that you're going to be a student of. So somebody gives you a uh, a class code which we'll talk about in a minute uh, and you can go here to join so we're going to create class and one of the things that I really recommend you doing when you name your class is putting your name in here as the class name because your students are going to have a lot of different classes that they will see in the Google Classroom so you want to make sure that it's easier for them to find and know which class is which so I also suggest you putting the year because this will be easy for the students as well to find that. So the class that I'm going to do is uh, just um, just an easy tech class. And this is going to be for the year 2021. This is section one. Subject is tech. And I'm going to put the room 114 and I'm going to hit create. And so what this is doing right now is it's creating me a folder with this name in my Google Drive. Not only that is it's creating me uh, basically my own little platform uh, for uh, this class. Now there's a couple of things that we need to look at uh, when we first get this created. Uh, and we will dive into these different tabs later on. But the first thing that I want to show you is uh, basically what's on this page. So up here you have what they call your theme. We can change this. Here's your name. Uh, here's the class code. So when we talk about adding students later, this will be, give it, you can give them this code to do it. Um, once you create uh, different assignments in your Google Classroom, all of the assignments that are, are upcoming will show up here. Okay. Anytime that you want to communicate to your class with announcements or anything like that, you can do it here. So that is basically the, the overall look of the stream page on the, your classroom. Now, let's talk about changing the theme. First of all, you can change the theme, um, which will change up the colors and the images by clicking on the select theme button. So what we want to do go here is we can go and if we select theme, you can see that there's a bunch of default uh, themes that we can choose from if you want if you're an English teacher here are some different ones sports and, and, and so forth uh, if we go back 
uh, we can also see that we can go and up upload our own picture from our computer. So that's totally up to you what you want to do. One of the things that I suggest uh, you do, and this is just a recommendation, you don't have to do this or whatever, but I like to change the colors for each one of my uh, classes that I create. It just helps me identify which ones uh, I, I want to go into and edit. Um, so it's just an easy way for you to look at it visually when you go into this page and see. Okay, So this is the class that we created. You can see that down here we have a folder that was created in Google Drive and then this is going to open up our gradebook. Okay? So there are a couple different ways that you can add students to your class. Uh, you can go and individually add students to your class by clicking on the People tab. And you can click on this little uh, symbol right here, silhouette with a human with a plus sign. Click on that and you can start typing in their emails. So I can add uh, Mr. Thompson here. So that's how you can individually add students if you want to. This is good to do as you have students check into the district or whatever. The other option, which I hinted at this earlier, is that each one of your created classrooms, you are given a class code. Um, and here is the class code, okay? So what you can tell students to do is go to their nine dots, click on the Google Classroom the same way that you did it earlier. And what they're gonna do is wanna click this join class. And once they click this join class, they're going to be asked for the class code. This is the class code to your class that you would, uh, to your Google Classroom that you would give them. So this is a much easier way once you have multiple students that you want to do, like the first day, give them this class code, have them join, and so forth. Much easier um, to do than individually doing it. If you feel more comfortable individually adding all of those students, do what is easiest for you. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in for the second video of Google Classroom and where we looked at how teachers set up, uh, find, and add students to their Google Classroom. Next week we will dive into video three where we will take a look at the different tabs and uh, their functions. And so don't forget to go be a servant and see you soon. Peace.